folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is keeping well. So today we are going to look at the situation between you and a particular person on your mind so you can see if it resonates with you and your situation and if it resonates we will dig a little bit deeper. We will uh, ask this person some questions and uh, find out what is going on. So what is the situation between you and this person? So we have the ten of wands. So it could be that you're experiencing difficulties at this time. There's like a sense from this card that somebody feels like they're not being seen or that they're maybe handling or dealing the pressures of something like by themselves. So for some of you, you feel like this person is maybe lacking in a certain area. So for some of you, it could be like emotions, right? This person's not opening up emotionally to you and you feel like you are kind of, you know, carrying that weight by yourself. It looks like things have not been easy within the situation with this person and it looks like something has been like dragging on okay so I'm getting the queen of cups so you do have like feelings for this person but for some reason there's something about like your love for this person that seems to be like a burden for you so yeah difficulty within the situation maybe multiple sort of difficulties over time I'm seeing you being very forgiving to this person. That's why I'm getting that. Like maybe this person is constantly letting you down. Constantly. It's just getting to like a point here where you are not really sure whether you should continue to um, carry this despite like your feelings. We have the four of wands. Some of you are in a relationship with this person. But this relationship is showing as being difficult, like it's showing as being difficult for you. I do feel like you have to constantly sort of overlook or forgive this person's energy. For some of you, you are forgiving this person and doing this because of a family. So like you have children maybe with this person or there's something like that. There's it's intertwined in some sort of way so you feel like you are kind of sacrificing your own um, self you know in this situation seven of pentacles so for some of you this is a relationship you have been in for a while some of you are very emotionally invested you know into the situation you do love this person but there's been difficulties between you and this person and Five of Wands, blocks, obstacles. Maybe you feel like this person creates blocks, creates problems. For some of you, this person brings like competition into your connection. Maybe starts fights. It's just challenging sort of energy to, to be dealing with. The Magician. You're showing in like an opposite sort of energy because this is clarifying your energy here. So... I'm seeing you being in an energy where you really do feel like, you know, if the work's put in and, you know, everyone's playing fair and everyone's coming from like a place of love, that uh, beautiful things can, you know, manifest. But this person just keeps throwing things in the way. It's like they're not happy being happy. So this person has that here with you, but they have to make things difficult or they're throwing like a spanner yeah this is self-sabotage isn't it it's like a self-sabotage energy king of pentacles yeah i'm getting that you are in a <clears throat> excuse me in a relationship one second excuse me in a relationship uh, with this person some of you are married to this person um if you are definitely single right this would be you wanting to manifest a relationship with this person. We have like the King of Pentacles, Four of Wands. You want this person to be that like committed partner, someone that you're living with. Um, and you feel like it should be growing, right? You feel like you've put in the work and it should be going there. Two of Cups. So there is mutual feelings. This person does have feelings for you. You have feelings for this person. But I just don't know how much more of this you feel like you can really take, right? That's the sort of energy I'm getting from this. Okay, so I'm going to get some cards for your person. See what's coming out first. This person doesn't seem to be able to maybe maintain, create some sort of drama. 
I am cautious about approaching. So for some of you, there could be like you know trouble at this current time, or you're arguing, or you're just not really getting on. You know, you're in that energy with each other. This could be about a conversation. I know that I am taking too long. I'm concerned about the opinions of other people is also coming out. And I want a fresh start. So for some of you there is like a separation here between both of you. For some of you it's a huge argument that you're in the middle of at this time or animosity with each other and this person does want to clear the air. I'm concerned about the opinions of other people. You know, the King of Pentacles in that uh, deck was like hoarding all his like coins and his money and stuff like that. So some of you are dealing with someone here who is very materialistic. Okay, this person might drive the best car, <laughs> you know, live in the best house or um, wants to appear like a certain way to uh, other people. And for some of you, yeah, this is your relationship as well. But too much focus, you know, on maybe that area has left your connection feeling like it's in lack. Okay, so let's see. I'll take this deck. Oh, I just dropped that card. Hello, funny enough, it was actually uh, Mr. King of Pentacles. So yeah, we'll use this deck for this person and we will see what is going on currently with this person, what they are thinking. Hermit. Yeah, so there could be like a pullback here. Some of you know this person's going to come forward and ask for some sort of like forgiveness, right? Um, and it's happened before. This is not the first time this has happened. You're kind of expecting it. You both know that this is going to happen. They want to draw a line under something. Move on. Look, King of Pentacles again. Even after all my shuffling. Seven of Pentacles. Right, let's see. Justice. Yeah. I would expect something from this person. Eight of Wands. You've yet to receive some sort of apology, it looks like. Okay, yeah, this person knows also that um, they need to, like, say something to you. There's something here that needs to be discussed. But they're, like, holding back. Yeah, so a lot of you right now, you still have not got that apology or heard from this person or um, got an explanation. You're still sort of waiting here. Mm, yeah, this, look, this person here was either hiding a secret from you or was not being open about something. There's something here hidden. Now this could possibly, because it's in the past, so it could be linking to this energy um, where this person has hurt you repeatedly and needs some sort of forgiveness. Nine of Cups and the world. Let's look at your energy. <clears throat> you have the Ace of Wands. This person has justice. Yeah, Eight of Wands here is sitting in the current energy also, but it's kind of challenged. So I can see this person thinking about like a message or communicating something here, but um, why is that Eight of Wands? challenged. Seven of Cups. Trying to get clear on something or make a decision about something. Trying to get a story straight maybe. Could be. Could be trying to get a story straight. Because there's something here that seems to be secretive in the past. Regardless, um, I do see, you know, the intentions are to close out a cycle. Whatever's going on here between you both. This person wants a fresh start. They could be cautious about approaching and they're going through, you know, the best sort of way to do it also. It could be a mixture of both. Why did I shuffle again? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, look! Okay, so you're showing me as uh, being kind of guarded towards this person. Possibly because for some of you there was another person that this, that this person was pursuing um, outside of your connection. That's for some of you. Then for others of you, if this person and you are like completely single and all of that, um, this person was, they weren't progressing maybe the way that you have been.
expecting. Look, there's that Ten of Wands. So this is your current energy showing through again. Look, Ten of Wands. And then we have this Justice card. Queen of Cups. Yeah. See, there's, there's something about this uh, connection here that is constantly taking from you. It feels like it's you that's being taken from. But for some of you, there is a serious relationship here, a family, or that is what you are feeling you could have with this person. So it's like a strong energy that's kind of here, you know, as long as, as uh, or as well as the feelings. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you do see potential here. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And ooh, okay. Right, so I do see this person coming forward, right? There's an attempt to restart, right? We have this Ace of Cups to remove some sort of like blockage or barrier or something like that. This person is either trying to get their story straight um, about some sort of secret um, or something they lied or were dishonest about, um, or they're going through their options here around, you know, apologising and stuff like that. Um, it's interesting because I see this like hidden energy, some sort of deception or secret or mask in the past. And then when I'm looking at your intentions moving forward, I mean, this person wants to draw a line under this and move on. Um, but you, you're telling me here that you want answers or you want to talk about whatever this is. So for each of you, it's going to be different, whatever this deception is. But um, you want to talk about it. And this person wants to forget about it. You know, they want to draw, draw a line under it. But in order to do that, you know, you are expecting answers this time. Maybe before you did draw a line under things, um, didn't ask questions, you know, stuff like that. But um, this time here, I see your intentions are to like actually get answers because there's something here about like you knowing, like you know, and this person like also knows that you know, and um, you both know. So I'm getting a, now I'm talking like uh, you ones out of, what do you call them? Friends. <laughs> but um, there is this knowing like between you it's just that i think that this person's not actually you know said some words to you or like told you the outright truth about something and you do want answers so what i am going to do is um, i'm going to extend this one so for those of you on the membership it'll be over there and we're going to look at the next six months between you and this energy because this is showing up like in the current energy but it seems to be just like a little bit like challenged at this time you know sending this message or having this conversation so i want to see you know how that's sort of progressing so um, i hope that that has helped thank you all very very much and i hope you all have lovely days thank you bye bye